Wait, 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 wait. Before you click off this video, trust me, it's actually a pretty interesting subject. Dingle, dangle, dingle, dangle. So if you've ever been watching my channel for the last eight years of my life, since like 2016, pretty much all the videos that I have on this channel, I have been doing entirely by myself. I edit them myself, I make them by myself, and with that comes a massive love for video editing. I do talk about it a lot on here, and I've even done videos entirely about random editors that I found online that I was interested in. I mean, the subject of editing fascinates me because the idea of being able to have full control of what I am making is something that fascinates me. But some people still need that extra leverage. They still need to figure out what to use and what to do in order to get their videos off the ground, and thus opens up a massive market for video editing templates. You can go online right now and type in a template pack for whatever editor you're using, and you will find a ton of them. Them, just massive bundles of different presets and plugins for you to choose from. Now, given some of them are actually very top of the line and are used even by some of the biggest masses uh, and creators on this platform or even out in the open. Uh, one of the most popular examples is Red Giant Universe. They have a massive array of plugins that I have used before. I've used some of their glitch plugins and their VHS plugins. The subject of editing is one that I am more than happy to talk about. And so that's why I was very interested in today's video when I discovered that Etsy has kind of a secret underground cavern full of these plugin templates. And a part of me is interested and excited at the same time. Now, I should be clear about myself and the reason why I search on Etsy in the first place. Uh, one of the reasons I love searching on Etsy is because it is a DIY platform uh, in a way because it's kind of like opening up your own shop. Uh, you're able to see a bunch of people make really cool DIY stuff. Uh, one of my favorite examples is a Michael Jackson necklace that I saw somebody was selling online. They were running a little business where they were selling replicas of Michael Jackson's necklace from the history era. And I bought one myself. It was pricey, but I fell in love with it. It is one of my favorite pieces of jewelry that I own, and I will be wearing it whenever the Michael movie comes out in theaters. I will have it on me. However, in recent years, Etsy has kind of gotten worse in quality because of a couple of reasons. One of the first things that they did was opening up the ability to drop ship on there. And another thing that they have opened up is the ability to sell digital assets on there. That includes video files, audio files, whatever. Now that has been a great thing to offer. Like let's say if you were selling like a uh, Photoshop templates and that's fine, you know, that's, that's great and all. However, that has opened up quite a lot of bad omens in terms of what people are selling on there. One of the worst examples I could think of is an Animal Crossing market that has been going on. So what I wanted to do in this video is look through everywhere on Etsy in regards to video editing or just asset packets that you could buy on there and see what kind of weird sh we could find. But before I do, a uh, subscription to the channel would definitely help a lot. Very based. So one of my favorite editors that I'm currently using at the moment is DaVinci Resolve. That's what I've been using to edit for the past half a year now. So what happens when we do look up DaVinci Resolve on Etsy? Well, the first thing that I'm greeted to is this ultimate DaVinci Resolve templates mega pack with 40,000 different plus elements for the price of $18.89. Oh uh, wait, that's a sale that's going on right now. Originally it was $75.58. It looks to be like a massive buy bundle filled with different transitions, text effects, um, other effects of similar nature. I mean, they could do a little bit better with the way that it's presented, but we understand the premise here. But wait, right next to it is a 40 gigabyte plus preset pack with effects, transitions, logo strings, etc. for $8.45. And it's quickly downloadable via a Google Drive link. Now see right here is where I'm a little bit concerned about all of this, is the fact that most of these are actually way beyond what would be available on Etsy for you to be able to purchase. So part of me believes that all these people are doing is just gatekeeping a Google Drive link and then you would have to purchase it through there. Somebody is selling a Boris FX Sapphire packet for $15.51? But wait, that's an actual major business company preset pack. How are they allowed to do this? I swear, I feel like I'm going insane here because of how many plugin packets there are. Jesus Christ, look at this one. A 945 
thousand plus graphics design and video editing packet for $25.99. Oh, okay. Now this one is actually kind of concerning. A CapCut premium editing videos full unlock one year's full guarantee for $5. Seven people had bought this in the last 24 hours. So wait, I could buy a dodgy one year license for $5 for CapCut? A part of me feels like that's not legal. Right? Like, I feel like I shouldn't even be looking at this. But yeah, you get the picture. Pretty much half of these are just bundles that are filled with different transitions and segues and uh, zoom ins and uh, other forms of action that you would see on the screen. That's basically what's going on here. And to the most degree, I could see the reason for its existence because uh, there's a lot that goes into keyframing and asset on screen. And I, I will give credit. I do use a couple of these myself, but I did not buy them from this website. One of my favorite plugin packets is Magic Animate by Mr. Alex Tech. Uh, that's what I use a couple times in my videos for some zoom ins and some other slide in animations. Uh, if you watched my video about weird wikis that I had posted not too long ago, I used uh, Magic Animate for a lot of those effects there. And you can already look up tutorials online on how to make your own presets for you to use whenever you want. In in fact, I actually have a couple already that I made myself for me to be able to pop onto an image and just pop it up on screen. And that kind of concerns me that there are so many of these packets considering that it's actually fairly simple to learn and make one yourself. Another one I actually like going on to a lot is one from Patrick. Sterling from the Sterling Supply Company. He makes a bunch of different pain and free presets for DaVinci Resolve, which I used a lot in my videos too. Uh, one of my favorites from him is the Word Art one. You guys know that nostalgic word art that you see a lot online whenever people show like vaporwave artwork? This is basically that, but pre-built into DaVinci Resolve for you to use. And it's completely free and I love it a lot. I use it a lot in a few of my videos. And for the most part, that's kind of all you really need to do videos. If you just want to get into editing, there's plenty of already completely free or affordable tools for you to start getting into editing yourself. Or better yet, just look up tutorials online on how to do it. But let's say that's not enough. Let's say you want to go one step further and let's say you want to just not do the entire video process altogether, not even hire an editor. Let's say you just want to do it all completely for a affordable cheap price with nobody else around. Well, Etsy's got you covered, damn it. Because another thing that Etsy has a major issue on when it comes to videos is, is packets that are not about editing at all and instead are already pre-made videos for you to just drag and drop onto, onto your YouTube shorts or TikTok feed the moment that you had purchased it. As a lot of you might probably know, one of the biggest dilemmas going on on YouTube right now is uh, gameplay videos, like these little gameplay bottom videos uh, that you would see of very inept gameplay that would be placed right below Family Guy footage or stolen podcast clips. It's a massive issue that's going on on YouTube right now, but if you want to get into doing it yourself, you don't have to worry about stealing the footage yourself because somebody is already selling a 1500 plus gameplay footage packet for just $8. Pretty much all of the stuff that you would see on a YouTube short or TikTok is available here. Minecraft parkour videos, GTA falling uh, car videos, uh, Subway Surfers gameplay, etc. And the reason why that is concerning to me is because I am starting to doubt whether or not all of this gameplay footage is this Etsy sellers is gameplay footage. Now, I'm not saying that it's entirely stolen because that is a term with a lot of legal ramifications. So I'm just wondering if this is entirely their footage or not. Because if it is stolen, which I'm not saying it is, but if it is stolen, then that means this person is just stealing a random individual's gameplay footage 
for profit. Or how about this one? 1,000 plus motivational reels bundle, TikTok video, YouTube shorts, success business inspiration reels bundle, Instagram reels, viral video by Pixel Nectar. Literally just a bundle of already pre-made motivational TikToks or shorts from different business people from all around the world that you could purchase for $1.30 to help flood the already oversaturated market on YouTube Shorts and TikTok. Wonderful. It seems that these bundles are starting to take in a similar fashion to a lot of YouTube gurus that I see online because a lot of them will say the best way, oh, I should probably do it in a short fashion, by the way, uh, the best way to get money and to be successful with money on YouTube, uh, money, uh, is to release motivational videos and put them out like 20 times a day on YouTube shorts and then you'll make like a million dollars and then live in Dubai or something. Like it's super f***ing scummy to create a massive bundle like this because a lot of this is probably already on YouTube right now as is and you could just search them up yourself but on top of that YouTube actually has a specific rule to not flood your content with repetitive material they have a specific rule on that to avoid sh like this one of the biggest reasons why people are wanting to be interested in making money on YouTube in the first place is because a lot of that money can genuinely be life-changing People have started jobs entirely on YouTube and I actually was able to do YouTube for four years of my life before I started going into IRL work. But if you are just going to be selling a bundle like this and take away the entire process of making a video, then would that necessarily be your content to begin with? Oh, Jesus Christ, what did I find here? 500 plus AI motivational reels bundle for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Oh, great. One Wonderful. Let's flood our YouTube feeds with even more garbage, but this time using the beautiful magic of artificial intelligence. I swear to God, there are tons of these. Look at this bundle with 20,000 Instagram reels for $8.96. And it's all just a bunch of random sh what is even the point of any of this? All right, I, I think I think I'm done here. You guys get the idea. This really does agitate me a lot because as a creator who loves doing videos by myself, it really bothers me whenever people try to take a shortcut and try to uh, you know not even do the process entirely. And now it's starting to get even worse thanks to artificial intelligence. I think it's fine using a preset packet for you to toss into an editor. Hell, I'm doing it right now for a lot of the jump uh, jumping effects that you're seeing on this video right now. I think that's totally fine. If you are using that, go for it because if it helps speed up the process without lowering the quality, go for it. But if you're just going to be uploading other people's clips, you're not a creator. You are a theft. Even if you had purchased it, you are still a theft and you are not a a creator. If you just want to get into video editing, there's literally no rush to it. And don't let a lot of these people try to persuade you otherwise. You can look up plenty of tutorials online on how to get into editing, and you can find plenty of helpful information on how to speed up the process without having to lose any sort of quality at all, like speed up the workflow. Trust me, that is much better use of your time and money than whatever is going on here. But... I want to hear what you think. What are your thoughts on all of these Etsy bundles? Tell me in the comments. And if you have any other suggestions for what you want me to talk about next, and if you have any fan that you want to submit to me, you can submit them all via all these social media links that will be on screen right now and in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like button, and if you're new, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so that way you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. And if you want to support me even further, you can go check out my merch store and my Kofi page, which will be both in the description below. Anyway, with all that said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And just so you know, I've been timing this entire time it's been taking me to create this, and it's only taken me about 18 minutes. Two little puppies sitting on the couch. Wiggle, waggle, wiggle, yeah, wiggle, I can yeah. tell. <laughs>